Hello everyone, my name is Akesh Kapta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will share with you some of the advanced uh, filter techniques which RNSpeed Designer provides us out of the box. To begin with, let's actually take an example of uh, an application where we have a customer and as you folks can see, a customer belongs to a territory and this is basically showing you the details about the territory and a customer can have some sales orders. Now, when we are writing a sales order, the sales orders are really for a particular customer. And of course, RNSP Designer can do filtering by the customer ID or any field that relates to a customer. Now, let's imagine that we would like to really filter this particular table by a territory ID for which the customer, uh, basically by territory IDs rather than customer IDs. So in the past, one of the options have been to make a view. What I would like to share with you is uh, an advanced filter technique which RNSP Designer provides and how do you basically relate or connect it to the uh, to the data source here. So to begin with, we will go back to the table. We are looking at our filters. This is basically our filter area. And if you look in the filter section now, you will see that the filtering has capabilities of almost any single table. What we would like to do is we would like to bring in my customer field and as you can see on a customer table we have a territory ID. By default we can drag and drop a territory ID, do a build and we will run the application as soon as the build finishes. Now after building the application, you will definitely see a new drop-down filter populated by the name Territory ID. And let's keep in mind that we have 3147 pages for the time being for the number of sales orders that we have in our entire system. So I'm going to basically look at the Territory ID and I can see that the unique Territory IDs have been selected from the appropriate table. And as you can see, if I am selecting the Territory ID, it is kind of doing a post back, but the number of records which basically are coming are really not changing. There are still 3147 pages, which really tells me that the filtering is not working. So to make this uh, work, what we need to do is we need to uh, somehow connect, somehow marry this drop-down filter to the table control. So in order to do that, what we can do is we have to go to the territory ID filter click on apply to in the formula tab and as you can see there's a sales order header table control sitting there waiting for us so what really means is when you filter by this particular field go ahead and filter the data of a sales order table control let's build it and we will basically check our results as soon as this finishes so what RSP Designer allows you to do is put in some filters which really are filtering the data or some s other subset of data. For example, if you're showing up some graphs, you can easily apply filters which are only applying to those graphs and not touching the, uh, the table control. So there are a lot of uh, advanced capabilities. This is was just one of the simplest examples I took, but definitely if you explore this model further, you can have a lot of filters which are really filtering some subsets of the uh, information which is being displayed in the same table control. So as you can see, system is coming up, 3147. I can go in and say, show me all the orders from Australia, and system has narrowed down to only less number of pages, and so on. So hopefully this uh, shares uh, with you an easy way to start using filters which are beyond just what you get out of the box from a, a regular table page. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and keep watching for the more videos as there's a lot more exciting ones coming down the road. Thanks a lot.